Playing some cowboy football, so that's good. Here we go. That's it. Mike, <laughs> you the fact that it's starting to get more guys back, wide receiver wise, healthy, and just how, how big that is during practice, not just for the game, but during practice, getting everyone in their regular position. How impactful do you think that is, especially coming down the stretch here in the season? Oh, I think it's huge. It's huge for us, you know, just to, you know, being able to walk out on the field and have two deep. Um, so now I can put two deep out there and and what we call ace or 10 personnel and four wide receivers and, and not blank. So um, that part's been great. It's been great for Spencer, too, uh, to, to have a little bit of continuity in the receiving core and, and not shuffle guys around. So, um, you know, he was able to move Rashad back inside today. Um, he's a smart guy. Like I said, he can go anywhere, you know, play any position for us. But certainly it's helped. What did you think specifically of John Paul Richardson and Jaden Nixon today? <laughs> I thought both were great. You know, it was fun to watch those guys run around. They've been dying to get out there. They've taken a lot of reps in practice. Um, we've talked a lot about, you know, do we redshirt John Paul or, or not? And, and he's a good player, you know, and I've been kind of holding on to it for a little bit. But finally today, just said, oh, forget it. Here we go. You know, you're in. Let's go. And, and he's done a great job in practice and deserved to get out on the field. And I'd love to get him out there more. He's, he's right now stuck behind Brennan, and, and it is what it is. Thank you, um, oh, Jaden, you know, Jaden looked good. I thought he did a good job running the football. Sorry about that. We're coming right oh, back to you. Um, oh, I forgot about uh, but, uh, yeah, so Jaden, I thought he did a good job, and I was uh, I was happy to see how he you know, ran the football. A couple times I wanted him to get his pads down, just smash it up in there a little bit. But but uh, he is who he is, and he makes people miss. That's his forte. So, you know, seven wants to run through your face. You guys have only had, before tonight, two double-digit wins. Close games have been the way for you guys. How important is it to get this type of game under your belt? Just what does that mean mentally for your guys, do you feel like? Oh, I think it's great. You know, the kids are excited. They think that, uh, you know, now, I mean, here we go. I mean, that's what they, that's what they feel, you know. So it would be good to back this thing up again and, uh, you know, have another solid performance. What I'm really happy about is that we've gone two weeks now without a turnover. That helps, you know, just not – you know, putting the defense in a bad position or anything like that. So it's been two weeks holding on to the football. We need to continue that. Um, you know, last week coming into this game, you know, you watch OU in a, in a full quarter battle with KU. We didn't know what to expect. We really didn't because, you know, they honestly, they look better. You know, they're moving around. They're playing faster. KU is um, defensively. You know, we don't look at their offense. But, but um, you know, defensively they're playing faster and they made some plays against OU, you know, and, and, uh, and matched up. So we had no clue what to expect, you know. And um, you know, our guy—I thought our guys jumped out there pretty good and, and got after it, and, and never looked back. I thought they came out and played hard early, you know. Now obviously they didn't score on the first possession. Disappointed about that, but um, you know, it is what it is. They bounced back and came back on the next possession. You had four guys scored touchdowns in the first half. Do you feel like you're kind of reaching deep in the tool chest for for a little bit there? You get all these different weapons going at once. Um, no, it's just yeah. uh, circumstance, you know, just. Yeah. The calls that you have on the sheet, and who it goes to, and who the quarterback decides to throw the football to. So it wasn't necessarily, a, a, you know, targeting anybody in particular. Um, it's all about the situation, just the outcome, you know, where we are on the field. There's yet four quarters of offense <coughs> driven in this game. How do you capitalize on that? And take, <laughs> take it forward. Dang good question. Um, you know, we're going to get back at it early tomorrow. You know, uh, it's a little bit different work week for us, so we're getting getting a fresh start at it tomorrow, but. Um, I don't know. I don't have a great answer for that one. It, it was great to see our young guys come in though and play well. We talked about it at halftime, you know, because we had already pulled our starters, um, you know, before the end of the, the first half. So um, the, the twos knew that they were coming in this, to start the, the second half. And um, the, the thing that we just wanted to make an impression on them was this is their moment, you know. Don't go out there and, and you know, the cliche of, hey, it's 0-0 zero, zero for sure. But don't go out there and just – Go through the motions. Go out there and try to, you know, impress Coach Dickey. Try to impress Coach Wozniak. Try to impress myself, um, and earn more playing time down the road. So, <clears throat> I think our guys did it, and uh, you know, I'm excited about how um, those second string, third string guys went out there and played hard, um, even though the lead was what it was. Is it a play caller's dream to get the ball four times deep in KU's territory? Oh man, dang right it is. Uh, life was good. You know, I wish we, um, you know, we scored on, but. You know, a couple of them were already teed up for us. Now we need to put those as, as touchdowns. You know, win the big games, the tight ones. Um, so yeah, defensively they were great, and they gave us the ball in perfect position. Is there any relief in finally getting that third quarter touchdown? 
<laughs> yeah, this is funny. So uh, my wife texted me uh, earlier in the week, you know, saying, man, you know, we got to the report. Okay. But, you know, up until that, I hadn't thought about it. I really hadn't. There were so many times that we were in position to score, didn't do it, whatever. Uh, you go back through it and you look at our third quarter, um, and you ask yourself, you know, were you conservative, were you this and that. And no, I mean, you go back through it. And the games that we had personnel out there, um, excluding the first couple of games, you know, where we just, I mean, it was, hey, can you play receiver? Can you, you know, it was one of those situations. So you can't take shots with guys that have never run the shot. Um, now we have them, and, and we're taking them in the third quarter. Now, do they work sometimes? I don't know. I mean, you know, apparently they didn't. Um, but we're taking them. So to be quite honest, it was, you know, I feel like we've not been conservative in the third quarter in the last few games. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I mean, it just happens how it happens. Um, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. But no, certainly not. I haven't thought about it like that. I haven't thought, holy crap, <laughs> we got a score in third quarter. I'm going to save this play. You know, no, nothing like that. How nice was to have Tyler Wall, uh, Tyler Wallace back this week? It was great. You know, he came in. I, I walked in when Coach was talking about Tyler. And, and uh, you know, he came up to our meeting twice, you know, both um, Thursday and Friday, spoke to the receivers, um, gave them some great tips about what it's like to be in the NFL. Um, you know, one, he talked about effort, and two, he talked about getting your playbook. You know, two things that as a coach I'd love to hear, but he was just being candid and honest. And uh, we've got some guys that I hope want to play in the NFL. Tay Martin's one of them. And uh, I think they took it to heart, you know. And, and uh, you know, Ty's out there trying to make his mark right now, and he's doing a great job on special teams. And here's a guy that's, you know, up from the Blitnikoff and, and leading the nation in receiving, and he's fighting for a job in the NFL. So our guys see that and, uh, and how competitive it is in, in the league. And to have him come in and say that, awesome. And that's something you've tried to do the last few years outside of the pandemic year. Bring in some guys, you know, Steve Large a few years back and stuff like that. How how receptive are guys to whether it's the older generation or a guy like Tyler Wallace to just soaking up what they can gain from those guys who've been through it? Oh, they love it. I mean, they, they love it. So those guys like Steve, you know, when he came in, or James when he came back, um, all those guys when they come through the door, you know, we want our receivers to go to the NFL. We want every position to go to the NFL. But I mean, that's just something we talk about a lot. You know, when those guys take the time to come back and visit, it means a lot. Only not only from the standpoint of talking about, you know, what it takes to get to the NFL, but I think our guys see that, you know, here's these here's these guys coming back and talking, taking time to talk to them again. Um, I think it means a lot to them. You know, I just I, I can't put enough value on seeing James walk through the door or, or Tylen or Blackman a couple weeks ago. Um, that's big stuff, you know. And, and Steve, you know, taking the time. I'm glad you brought him up because Steve's was fantastic, you know, to take the time to come down here and visit with our receiving core. So uh, it's huge. Talk yet? You, yeah. One more. You've yes, seen sir. Shane in an extended run before, but he got another tonight. What did you see from him in the second half? I love watching Shane play. You know, um, um, he's that big drop back style quarterback and, and that can throw it all over the yard. And, and he's a great kid. He's smiling all the time. You know, um, I think I mentioned it a couple weeks ago. I don't know if there was any single person on our team, definitely on our offense. I was more excited after the Texas win, and he didn't play. You know, I mean, the guy is all in. He's all in. And I love it. So for him to get out there and throw it around today was great. Um, you know, I wanted Bryce to pull that one down, but you know, he made some good throws and had a couple extra um, touchdowns in there. But we had one more that, uh, that we probably let him down at on the receiver. So uh, I already gave Bryce a hard time about that. One. But it was good to see Shane out there throwing it around.